So what I did was I made a decision that if I was going to succeed in anything, that I needed to have a strong foundation. And so that's what got me into the gym. And personal events, such as, you know, there was this day that I went on this community service um, event, and I felt very insecure and uncomfortable around these, like, well-spoken, you know, aggressive, passive-aggressive um, business types. You know, I felt extremely uncomfortable, and I was there for hours, and I never felt that uncomfortable in my life. And I knew that I had reached a point where, you know, I had to overcome the obstacle of the insecurity. You know, I, mean, I had to overcome insecurity. You know, some people can, some people live their whole lives insecure, you know, and they just basically cope with it and they hide it. But me, I've never been insecure, you know, and in that situation, it made me feel insecure. I decided that I was gonna go to the gym, magnify that feeling of insecurity, and I was gonna fight it in the gym through weight training. So my whole, my whole mental process in the early days was really like, if I'm gonna be able to put, find myself in that stressful situation again, and if I'm gonna really be able to manage it, then I need to be mentally stronger. And so when I was sitting there on the bench press, you know, and I guess 225 was my max, you know, my, my mindset was that if I can bench this 225, then this is, this, then the, then the strength that I summon to bench this 225 is the same strength that's gonna be able to carry me throughout any awkward meeting. So that was, that was really what it was about. It was just like a, it was a mental battle that I was putting myself through, you know, week in and week out to overcome my insecurities. You know, yeah, 50 Cent was like my uh, teenage inspiration, you know, when I just was in the gym just playing around or whatever. And at the time, when I was a teenager, I didn't think I was playing around. I thought I was like really getting it in, you know what I mean? But um, when, you, when you ask, was it about looks, the thing that comes to mind was another big motivator that I had, and that was the fact that I was getting older and I remember all of the, the regrets of my life. You know what I mean? And I, and though some, every now and then we reflect on things and we feel regret, and I feel like regret is the worst emotion that anyone could ever deal with because it, it's, it's everlasting, you know? And there were so many things that I regretted as a teenager when it comes to like my education you know what I mean I regretted the fact that I didn't take school seriously I regretted the fact that I didn't run for high school president I regretted the fact that I let other people put their limitations on me or tell me what was not cool and I genuinely believed it you know I regret those things and so as I got older, I told myself that I don't want to regret, you know, I don't, I don't want to regret this time that I have, you know, I think I might have been 26 at the time. I don't want to regret anymore, you know, as, as, far, as, as much as I could perceive, I didn't want to regret it. And so I asked myself, what is life going to look like when I turn 30? And so I looked around and everyone was overweight and out of shape. And I said, that's not gonna be me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not gonna be the fat dude in the club. You know what I mean? Looking for some love. I'm not gonna be the old out of shape dude, you know, looking at the younger guys 
you know, trying to compete, talking about in my day. That was not gonna happen. And so, when you ask me about looks, you know, that definitely was a, a major motivator in the beginning. You know, it was just the fact that I couldn't, I'm not gonna regret not going, taking care of my body. You know, I'm not gonna regret, you know, not doing everything I possibly can to make myself physically and mentally the best I can possibly be. And when it's all said and done, like when I'm mad old, you know, and I look back, I wanna be able to say that I gave it everything I had.